heroes this weekend. Firefighters, fallen firefighters are being honored today. And we're including that, of course, in our celebrations and observances today as well. At this time, in a rather unique way, the world's fastest fire truck is capable of a speed, a world record setting speed, of 407 miles an hour. So how does the fire truck do that? With the help of two Rolls-Royce jet engines, which have just started up, and very shortly, you're going to see the afterburners light up as well. The stacks light up as Mark Smith prepares the aftershock to rip up and down the runway.
Enterprises own the truck, an industry leader with four of the fastest trucks in the world. in a second. He's used up every drop of fuel. And he'll be back a little bit later to race on Hellcat. Razorback P47 too. And a P51D Mustang with three fighters taking to the sky. As we honor the past that inspire the future, their stories. P38 joining the parade too. Training aircraft as well. The advanced trainer, the Texan. The bird of the Allisons of the B 38, soon to be joined by a very special visitor here this weekend as well. Twin Boomtail P-38 Lightning Kevin Eldridge Planes of Fame Museum Aircraft Nearby Meticulously maintained and respectfully flown Now they'll be forming up and they'll be joined in the sky by one of only two still flying in the world today, B-29 Super Fortresses. Doc will take to the sky as well. A formation of fighters doing high cover as they would have in protecting the bombers. We turn back the hands of time with Doc, our B-29 in a moment, and the Planes of Fame P-47, P-51s. In a series of flybys, here come the fighters. Dropping in from our left, the P-47G, powered by a 23-horsepower Pratt & Whitney 18-cylinder radial air-cooled engine. The powerful sound of round. historic work with the flying status to serve as a flying museum. 15 years plus, hundreds of volunteers have worked on the dock, and the restoration project has finally taken to the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, the B-29 dock, P-47 and P-51s, the Plains of Fame Museum, in our tribute 
World War II in our veterans today. Skilled workers and retiree operation aircraft from 51, based at Griffiths Air Force Base, New York. Well, based at Griffiths, the squadron's members named their B-29s after characters in the Disney movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This one became dog. In 1955, the aircraft modified as a TB-29, was moved to Yuma County Airport, Arizona, and used as a target truck. Retired from the United States Air Force in 56, sent to the Naval Air Weapons Station, China Lake, for use as a ballistic missile target. But now, after these 15 years of toil, the B-29 flies again. Contribute their time to restore and maintain the aircraft. Many of these rare warbirds have been restored to flight. Here they come again, led by the B-47G. and Lord. 
in the Bearcats. The Hellcat will be breaking off shortly to take the fire truck on. Both capable of over 400 miles an hour. Who do you think is going to win this? Position down in just a moment, he's going to get turned around, disappear into the smoke and light up the burners for the photo shot of the wheel. Mark Smith, right, two horsepower, the aftershock jet fire truck. Smoke going real good. He's going to turn right around into it and then pop out the other side with the burners on. Get ready for it. He's got the sirens going, the lights going, the stacks and lift. He disappears for just a moment and he's going to come out all on fire and ready. So what do you think as you listen to the huff and the puff? Who's going to win this? By your applause and the noise you make, I ask you, will the airplane win this? I ask you then by your applause and the noise you make, will the fire truck win this? Well, let's see what happens. So the starter is going to make it fair to start when he passes overhead. Save you all a bunch of money. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hellcats. 